Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you on how to mine Saitama Inu and in which wallet I store it. This coin is generally very hard to get or you have to pay insane gas fees to buy it. It is pretty new to the market and it's been making insane moves just before the crash. Even with a small amount mined, you might get filthy rich in the future. Now let me show you how to set it up and where I store it. It's going to be a short video, so make sure you watch it all the way to the end. Liking and subscribing is free, this helps me out. And you can always change your mind later. Let's dive right into the video. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit dusty. If you see my videos before, you can skip this part, but I'm just gonna walk you through how to install it because everybody's gonna run into problems. So first thing you wanna do is, is make a map and give it a nice name. Nice. So the next thing you wanna do is, is you wanna to go to your Windows security Go to Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, Manage Settings, Add or Remove Exclusion, and add your nice name folder, or whatever you want to call it, to the exclusion. So the next thing I'm going to say is always going to cause problems for some people. You have to disable your browser security. You do it like this on Google Chrome. If you're using a different browser, do it differently. Disable the security. If you don't do this, your PC is going to flag it as a Trojan horse download, like an unsafe download. Any coin miner is being flagged as a Trojan horse. There is no actual Trojan horse in sight. Get that into your damn heads. There's so many people that comment, there's a Trojan virus. If you don't feel comfortable with that, that is fine. Get the hell out of here. Okay, you got to do it, else you're going to run into problems. So. If you have done that, you want to go to Unminable, go to Downloads, right click the green bar, save it as, and save it directly into your excluded folder. Now, before we go any further, download Coinbase Wallet, go to Receive, then type in Saitama, and make sure you have your Saitama receive address ready for the next step. So now we have done all the important steps and the thing you want to do is, is you want to extract this file. If you get any errors or something, make sure you have excluded the folder like I showed you or to open it as a administrator. So once all of that is done and you have opened the screen, it's going to look like this. You're going to have to select if you want to mine on your GPU or CPU. Well, most of you have probably have any experience with hardware. So if you have a gaming PC, you will be mining on your GPU. GPU is just straight up the fastest mining. If you have an older computer, you can use your CPU, but I highly doubt if it's worth it for you then. So once you have done that, go to next. And in this list, you can type in Saitama. I already done that. You can see it is using the Ethereum network to um, move, the, uh, move the coins around. Over here, you can fill in your address. The one I just showed you, you got on the app with a receive. And over here, you can enter my referral code or your friend's referral code. What this does, it basically lowers the fees. It benefits you and it benefits me. So once all of that is done, you can start the process. Click on start. I usually go to the settings down at the bottom over here. Whoops. And I select high intensity mining. If you want to get some work done and your computer slows down, you could also select low. So you mine on a lower speed. Um, the mining algorithm depends on much, how much VRAM your video card has. So if you have less than three gigabytes of VRAM, you want to use Ethereum Classic Hash or ETC Hash. And if you have a more than four gigabytes video card or GPU, you want to use Ethereum Hash. Now you can name your worker over here. You could also set your referral code and you can start mining from the app when it starts up. Once you have done that, you're gonna get a screen like this. You can change light and dark mode. You can refresh your balance over here. This is how the, what the mining looks like. Usually it takes some time for it to start. Sometimes it takes half an hour. Sometimes it starts straight away. Just give it some time. Over here we have the address. If you click on the address, you can see how fast you're mining, what kind of uh, systems you're using. So these are the systems I am using. 
Once you have reached the threshold, which you can see over here, this is the threshold. So it's a good, I think, $30, $30 or something, depending on the price. So now you're a good to mine and you want to know how much profit you're going to make. So what you want to do is, is you want to let your miner run for a couple of minutes, let's say, let's say 10 minutes, something like that. And you get a current mega hash or calculated. Take either one of these because it fluctuates and go to your site where you can have the total overview. Click on here, find Saitama. And over here, you can calculate your profits. Now, most people will have somewhere between 30 and 100 mega hash. So this is what you're gonna get daily. This is when I, what you're gonna get monthly. Now, let's just fill in some numbers so you get a bit of an impression. So let's make it easy. Let's fill in, uh, let's fill in 70. So this is, if you have like 70 mega hash, it's gonna take you around seven days to reach your threshold. Seven days of mining. It can go up because sometimes if the prices drop, um, the mining goes faster. If the prices go up like incredible, it's gonna take longer. So the earlier you start mining, the better. So that was it thus far for the video. But before you go, make sure to find your referral code, which you can find on the site under my referral code. Copy it and place it in the comments. If you're lucky, I'm gonna use your code for mining. So I'm gonna give back to the community, which helps me out as well. So once again, if you like this video, if you found it useful or informative, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.